What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here, and we are playing the X-Plane 11 beta. I haven't played X-Plane since probably X-Plane 10 first release, and I'm pretty excited to try out X-Plane 11 beta, because it is gorgeous. I mean, this is like the beauty you get with tons of add-ons that you pay tons of money for for any other game, Flight Sim, and it's amazing. But we are taking out the SR-71 Blackbird, and we're going to fly from here in San Francisco, to LA, and it's probably going to be about a 20 minute flight, and we're probably going to hit Mach 3, more than likely. Um, the SR-71 does have some issues, um, but we will talk about it in the air. Um, first off, we are going to check everything. I can't use the ATC because I can't figure out how to change my squawk code, and all they do is keep complaining about it. So I'm going to drop flaps 1. Zero, zero, two, flaps 1. Papa. Brakes. We're going to full throttler. She's at 70%, and release the brakes. We're at 50 knots. 80. 100 knots. 120. Oh shit, is that a tow cart in front of us? Oh, oh. <laughs> 160. Flaps over speed? What do you mean flaps over speed? We're only doing. Man, these flaps are fragile. All right, so we fucked our flaps up. Gear up. Positive rate of climb here. We're at Mach point four. And we're gonna slowly pull our turn to head towards the southeast here. At 300 knots, fuck everybody's windows. We're getting ready to hit Mach. <laughs> I mean, look at the scenery for x -Men. Look at all the cars. And it just gets even more beautiful at night. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. Everything about X-Plane 11 is amazing. There are some issues, uh, especially with the autopilot. Uh, especially with, yes, the autopilot in this is boogered. I think the flight model also for the SR-71 needs a little bit of work. We're getting close to Mach 1. We're going to try to hit the coast. And go to, I think it's Santa Maria Island and then turn into uh, L.A. Alright, so we're hitting the coast here. Uh, let me dump on the autopilot real quick. I need to check the map to make sure we are going in the right direction. No, we need to turn southeastish more. Okay. Yeah, no shit. Alright, we're at Mach point eight, passing 6,000 feet. We are soup breaking so many FAA regulations that the, it's not even funny. I'll take it out 130. Alright, leveling out. It's time to really kick the fires and light the tires. We're about Mach 1 full afterburner. 10,000 feet. 11,000. This thing is so awesome. Mach 1.2. Let's do the flyby. Oh god, look at this thing go. Woo! Off into the wild blue yonder. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, we are really starting to move like a bat out of hell and nothing can stop us now. <laughs> I mean, we just took off from over there, and we're already way better. I think this is just like a two, three hour flight, San Francisco to LA. We're gonna do it in 20 minutes, easy. We're gonna nose her down just a bit, because I do want to increase speed. We're already at about 30,000 feet. Mach 1.1. Mach 
waiting for that Mach 3. Yeah, so far it's amazing. I'm loving, I'm loving X-Plane 11. It's beautiful. Performance is great. Uh, I'm getting about 45 FPS and I have everything completely and totally maxed out. Um, I'm loving it. I, I, I really, I ditched Prepare 3D in FSX because, well, I ditched FSX due to performance, moved to Prepare 3D because the performance was better, had to rebuy all my add-ons and stuff, and um, ooh, we're losing altitude. And every Prepare 3D update, all the add-ons, I have to rebuy them again, and they, it's just it's a pain in the ass. So I'm really looking forward to the move to X-Plane 11. Not, X-Plane 11 doesn't have a lot of payware aircraft that you would see with FSX and stuff. But it, it's definitely there. I mean, you can get some good pay, payware aircraft and scenery. A lot of really good free scenery, too. Mach 1.5, 33,000 feet. My track hour is a little boogered. I think we're passing Monterey right now. But I really love this, the light. The RSO has ejected, just to let you know that like the other dude already just killed himself. Because you can imagine bailing out at Mach 3, how painful that would be. It would be insane. I have gotten this thing to about 70,000 feet, but performance at that altitude isn't very great. Uh, reaching anywhere close to Mach 3 is pretty much not going to happen. Alright, we're starting to slowly approach Mach 2 here. Mach 2, there we go, boys. I'm trying to trim her out, but she doesn't want to center the, the trimming the roll. We are all an ass. <laughs> Everybody's windows below us are absolutely fucked right now. Absolutely fucked. Gone. Mach 2.2. 41,000 feet. Forty-two thousand feet. Mach two point four. Around this altitude is where she really starts opening up. Two point five. Point six. Let's see where we're at. Doing good so far. I think we're going right around here is where it is. We'll be there. We'll be starting our descent shortly. Just in time for us to hit Mach 3. Let's see if we can see any other aircraft. Usually you can see some contrails below us. There was one ahead of us. What was it? 747 off to our right, and we got one off to our left over here somewhere. I don't see it. We got a 747 off to the right. Hmm. Don't see it. Mach 3, boys! 50,000 feet! And we are hauling some ass now. Three point one. We are shattering windows all down the California coast like it's nothing. Fifty-four 
53,000 feet. Mach 3.2. we got down there. A lot of nada. We're going to swing her out a little bit. Do 4,000 feet. 3.29. About to hit 3.3. Five thousand feet. We are really hauling some ass now. All right, I believe we're gonna have to start a turn here in a minute. Yes, yes, we are. This is what airport is this? Santa Barbara Municipal. All right, we're gonna have to start a turn here over the islands. At Mach 3.3, this will take us about, you know, 60 miles to <laughs> complete. I really want to try a coast to coast flight with this, but I want to wait till the flight model gets fixed up a little better. Because it the the fuel doesn't seem to go down that, as much as it should. This thing drinks fuel. I mean, you're going Mach 3 right now. Um, the autopilot, not really that great. No squawk. It's no way for me to do the squawk, unless there's a key command for me to do the squawk. So the ATC just becomes annoying as hell. Losing altitude. Nice job, me. There we go. I think we're going over there. I'm not too sure, though. Yep, there we are. LAX. So we should be starting our turn right over the islands, which we're... Oh, we actually have aircraft on our right. Yeah, see the contrails? We're higher than them. That's awesome. Okay, let me actually stand up so I can see. Yeah, we're passing over the islands now. We should start our descent here shortly. Looks like we're topped out at uh, Mach 3.3. Started a descent here a bit. Bring it off of afterburner, starting a descent. Because we are actually super close to the airfield now. Man, she does not want to turn. Still a Mach 3, 45,000 feet. Thirty-eight thousand feet. Mach 2.7. We still have a ways to go. We should be able to easily make this. Now we're at thirty thousand feet. 
The one thing I don't like about the SR-71 is that big-ass structural beam right there in the front. I assume because the amount of air force hitting, the, you know, the force of the air, air pressure, at Mach 3 would probably just shatter glass if it didn't have that there. Alright. We still really need to get lower here. I'm assuming the airport is right there somewhere. Mach 1.7, still at about 20,000 feet. Eighteen thousand. We need to get at least below ten. I know we're pretty much coming in in a straight shot. I think. No, we're off kilter a bit. Not by much. Take it to the right a bit more, and we should be good. Oh, there it is. There's LAX. I knew it was somewhere over here. Mach 1, 8,000 feet. Alright, so now we kind of just level her out a bit and let her gl kind of glide in. It's still pretty high. Just dropping below 500 knots. We're still high though, so we need to nose her down. Maybe get a speed break into this beast? We don't have a speed break, do we? Nope, we don't. We're gonna go for the right runway, as it seems like it might be the longest here. Still Mach 8. Point 8. Alright, so let's try to start a little S-turn real quick if we can. Kill some airspeed here. I know it's way too fast for uh oh shit that s turn wasn't the best way too fast for gear but we really need to start slowing down here and we need to get ready for landing and get aligned with this sucker there glide slope's good at least from the populates <laughs> It is very hard to see this runway. Glide slope's still good. I don't think we're going to be able to flare. Eh, we might be able to. True, shoot out. Brakes. It wasn't the best landing in the world, but hey, it worked. All right, cut, shoot. We made it! I can't believe it, we actually made it. Oh, that tire screech is a uh, X-Plane staple. Oh, taxiway there. Oh, I'll hit the next one, don't worry. So that wasn't too long of a flight to LAX, and for somehow, we didn't really lose any fuel. No, we kind of did, but not much. Yeah, I think it's still, you know, it's still beta. They're working on stuff, but so far, I'm just very impressed with X-Plane 11. It's just very beautiful. Everything's really nice. Like, I'll just park it right here, to be completely honest, but yeah. They're definitely going to play a lot more of it. If you want to see more X-Plane 11, definitely, you know, let me know. There's also a free demo trial you can do 
of the beta um, on their website if you want to check it out. Just includes the Seattle scenery. Not big download. You know, if you if you want to check it out, see how it is performance wise, definitely check it out. But um, yeah, if you want to see more X Plane, let me know in the comments below. Talk to you guys later. Peace.